badminton has enjoyed steady progress in recent years, both in terms of on-court play and off-court experiences. While the standard of the game keeps improving at tournaments, players also have the opportunity to engage in special recreation activities. Host organizers have kicked it up a notch when it comes to hospitality, making sure participants are given lavish care throughout the tournament. Last month's Xiamen Air Australian Badminton Open was a fine example of this. Against the night backdrop of the iconic Sydney Harbour, players were treated to a relaxing boat cruise. Really beautiful, really enjoyed coming uh, here and uh, still enjoying, I had my dinner just now. Yeah, uh, I just get to see it once in a while and I would like to thank the uh, tournament people for arranging this for all the athletes and I'm sure all the athletes are having great fun here at the course. Badminton Unlimited wasn't about to pass up on the chance of a fun-filled occasion and our cameras were on deck to capture the memorable evening. With Sydney's reputation as one of the world's top holiday destinations, administrators at Badminton Australia knew exactly how to play to their strengths. As Badminton Australia, we want to develop the sport. And one of the best ways to develop the sport is through a major events like this. Uh, that's why we sort of try to uh, bring something different to the other host cities around the world that Sydney has such a fantastic harbour and views that we should really uh, have the players sort of uh, enjoy the city itself soon. This year, the cruise was scheduled at the top end of the MetLife BWF World Super Series event to accommodate as many players as possible. Given the busy schedule, it was inevitable that some players missed out on the cruise. Unfortunately, this is the only gap we have for, for the event. That's why quite a number of teams are not here because they're playing tomorrow morning. But yeah, certainly it's, it's great to have it early when all the players are around. I've been playing the Australia Open, but uh, I couldn't uh, come to the cruise. But uh, I think this time my dad is with me and uh, uh, my match is also tomorrow evening. So I thought I have uh, a good time here. and. Uh, I wanted to visit and see Darling Harbour as I have not seen it before. And, um, I wanted to, to see how it is in the night. For the other fortunate players who could spare a few hours, it gave them a chance to soak in the sights and sounds Sydney had to offer. I think it's just to relax and release stress before the game start. Yeah, so I think this is a very good experience in Sydney. I think it's a, a really big and nice chance to just see something in, in the city because not every tournament you have the chance to see some, uh, to do some sightseeing, so this was a really good chance. So yeah, we took it of course. All in all, the joyride was well received by everyone involved. For players who had to cope with a grueling playing schedule and juggle the pressures of top-level badminton, occasions like these are a welcome treat. Far from seeing such leisure activities as distraction, players hoped that more organisers around the globe would take the cue from their Australian counterparts. The leisure ride certainly benefited Saina as the Indian women's single shuttler went on to clinch her first World Super Series crown of the year in Sydney. Yes, I think it should happen in both tournaments, um, but it doesn't happen much. But I'm really, really surprised with the way Australia always uh, welcomes us here. And, uh, really really wonderful uh, and all, I'm sure all the athletes are really enjoying. Uh, I hope we have such kind of beautiful trips in other tournaments as well and, uh, you know, and make it more fun for the players because we get too tired by playing so many tournaments. So there should be something interesting and I'm very very happy to see that um, this tournament has this wonderful thing and it really helps us to be a little bit more fresh for the matches. The badminton is quite serious and uh, you know with uh, high price money and especially around the corner of the Olympia at stake, I think uh, they will find that a bit of relaxation will help in their play and concentration. So. No matter the feats they pull on the courts week in, week out, badminton players need their time out to unwind as well. And the boat cruise in Sydney served its purpose. The relaxing time away from the courts has proven to be a success. And it's certainly one way to keep the players and their fans smiling.